Hi everyone, Lisa Tamati here from Pushing the Limits and welcome in to my YouTube channel or podcast. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about zonulin and uh, the healthy gut. So zonulin, it's a key player in gut health. Have you ever heard of leaky gut? Ever wondered why it's important and how you can enhance your intestinal barrier integrity? Well, that's what we're going to be covering today. So our immune system is around 70 to 80% in and around our gut. So the gut is uh, the gut health is massively impacts our immune health. Now, zonulin is a protein that regulates the permeability of our intestinal barrier. So think of it as the gatekeeper controlling what gets in and out of our gut. Maintaining a balanced level of zonulin is really crucial for overall digestive health. So we have these things in our gut called tight junctions. And these tight junctions are meant to open and close at certain times, but they're not meant to be open too much. And many foods, things like gluten, for example, uh, pesticides, toxins, uh, nutrient deficiencies can cause a poor intestinal barrier. And your gut barrier acts as a shield, keeping the stuff that should be in the digestive system in there and not getting through into the bloodstream. Now, of course, we want nutrients to come through, but we don't want other things to come through. So your gut barrier acts as a shield, protecting your body from harmful substances. So things like undigested food, because food needs to be broken down into tiny molecules and particles so that it can pass through. It don't, you don't want to be letting through big undigested particles or things like path, pathogens, uh, viruses, that type of thing that come in on your food. So when zonian levels are imbalanced, this barrier can become uh, compromised, allowing unwanted particles to pass through. And this can lead to system-wide inflammation and a host of health issues. Things like autoimmune diseases, brain fog, even accelerated aging. It can really speed up the aging of your organs, pain and more. In particular, there's a thing called LPS, lipopolysaccharides, and this is something we really don't want to have outside of our intestinal, uh, in, in the gut and getting into our bloodstream. Now, there are ways to enhance your gut barrier integrity. So consuming a diet that's really rich in fiber, in probiotics and probiotic foods, and prebiotics uh, can promote a healthy balance of gut bacteria positively influencing then your zonulin levels and fortifying your gut defenses. And then there are substances like sulforaphane, one of my favorite. In fact, I just did a full-length podcast with Dr. Christine Horton, who is a world leader in the field of nutrigenomics and specializes in sulforaphane. And I'll put a link to that in the description below. So make sure you check that out because it's a really valuable podcast for everything uh, gut health, but also immune health. Um, now, over to the microbiome connection. So I'm a big fan in my clinic of doing microbiome testing. It's part of the standard test that I like to do, if possible, with my clients. Now, consider doing a microbiome test so that you can find out about what your zonulin levels are and hundreds of other things as well. Now, this reveals the unique community of microorganisms that are in your gut, and understanding your microbiome can provide valuable insights into your digestive health, including zonulin regulation. Now, a microbiome test helps you identify the specific bacteria, uh, balance of bacteria that are in your gut. Armed with this information, then you can make targeted dietary and lifestyle adjustments to optimize your gut health keeping zonulin and your intestinal barrier in check. So as I said, zonulin is a gatekeeper to your gut health and maintaining a balanced gut barrier is really key to overall well-being. And so by embracing a gut-friendly diet, getting rid of processed foods, trying to avoid toxins, not too much alcohol, all of those sorts of things, and considering microbiome testing and then making informed choices, you empower yourself to nurture a healthy and resilient digestive system. 
So here are a few things that you can think about in regards to diet and supplements. And just remember, though, this is not personalized medical advice for you. This is just for general information and educational purposes only. And always see your doctor before trying out any new supplements. So food and supplements for intestinal barrier uh, integrity. Things like fermented foods, yogurt, kefir, sauerkraut, kimchi, all of those really rich in probiotic foods that really promote a healthy gut environment. Now, I did want to caution here, if you have problems with SIBO, if you have problems with histamine, then you might want to be a little bit careful with some of the fermented foods. These are really, really great for you, but you just have to be a little bit cautious if you're dealing with SIBO or uh, have problems with histamine intolerance. It's about building it up, and that's a subject for another day. But Right now, if it's just looking at intestinal uh, gut uh, barrier uh, integrity, we, then the fermented foods are really, really good. Also, fiber-rich foods are really important. So fruits and vegetables that provide uh, prebiotics that nourish beneficial bacteria. Then there's things like bone broth, which is really rich in collagen. And bone broth can help support the integrity of the gut lining. Ginger. This is a root that has anti-inflammatory properties that may benefit the digestive system. Then garlic, um, this one's known for its antimicrobial properties and garlic can help maintain a healthy balance of gut bacteria. Again, a little bit of caution with garlic if you have problems with SIBO or anything like that, or you are um, prone to problems with sulfur-based foods. If you are, it actually means that you need it, but you need to build things up very, very slowly and work with a practitioner to do that. Um, berries, now berries are packed with antioxidants and polyphenols and berries contribute to your overall gut health. Uh, really great source of uh, antioxidants as well. Uh, leafy greens, so spinach, broccoli and all the other leafy greens are excellent sources of fiber and nutrients that support gut function. Next one on the list is fatty fish. So salmon, make sure it's not farm salmon though. Terrible stuff. Feed it antibiotics and it's just really not good. Uh, mackerel and sardines provide the omega-3 fatty acids that have anti-inflammatory effects. Really, really important also for brain health and membranes and so many other things. I'm a big fan of uh, omega-3s. Nuts and seeds. Almonds, chia seeds, flax seeds offer a combination of fiber, healthy fats, and antioxidants. Caution a little bit if you've got diverticulitis. Uh, with little seeds, they can cause some problems. Uh, things like chia seeds, as long as you stick them in, a, in say, a yogurt or something, and they, they swell and they become like a gel-like substance, that's a good way to get them. Uh, the next one on the list is turmeric or curcumin, the active compound in turmeric, um, has anti-inflammatory properties and beneficial for gut bacteria. Um, then there's um, the supplement side of things like IDP. Now, this is one that we're going to be using in one of our formulations shortly. And this is a bioactive whey protein complex extracted from pasture-fed milk. It provides uh, effective selective antimicrobial activity su to support the body's microbiome. And this antimicrobial activity supports our microbiome by suppressing harmful pathogens and viruses while being relatively ineffective against important probiotic and commensal species. Commensals mean the good bacteria that the body needs to maintain good health. So real big fan of IDP, super excited to be bringing out a formulation with this soon. So IDP is anti-inflammatory properties. It supports tight uh, gut junctions which are important for maintaining that digestive health and supporting the immune system and it combines uh, lactoferrin and lactoperoxidase and immunoglobulins together with 50 other minor bioactive proteins and this novel whey protein fraction delivers a powerful synergy that supports the immune system by providing a natural protection from free radicals inflammation and infection the next one on the list is glutamine it's used commonly uh, it's one of the amino acids, crucial for maintaining the health and integrity of the intestinal lining. 
Um, it serves as a primary fuel source for the cells lining the intestines, aiding in repair and regeneration. Then another one of my favorites, this is a peptide, um, and you can get this as an oral peptide. I've got it in my uh, uh, range. If you, I'll put that link down below. It's called BPC157. Now, you may know of this as an injectable, which it's also brilliant for, for a healing of the body, known as the one of the Wolverine, part of the Wolverine stack where it really, really speeds up healing. But when you take it orally as an oral tablet, um, it's um, known to um, promote tissue repair uh, in the intestinal gastrointestinal tract and can contribute to intestinal barrier integrity. Then the next one is KPV. Now, this is a tripeptide, lysyl proline valine, um, derived from collagen and how it works. Um, KPV has been shown promise in supporting the structural integrity of the gut lining, potentially enhancing its function of the, the tight junctions, which is what we're talking about, so that you don't get that leaky gut. And the next one is PEA, and I won't even try to say the whole <laughs> long word of what that stands for. I'll butcher it. Um, but PEA is an endocannabinoid-like compound with anti-inflammatory properties. And how it works is that PEA has been studied for its ability to modulate inflammation and immune responses, which may positively impact the gut. So there you have it. Um, actively protecting your intestinal barrier is absolutely a key factor in your health of your gut and your immune system, and indeed your whole body, and including your brain. Um, maybe get a microbiome test done if you can at some point in your life so that you can check out what's really going on in there. If you have parasites, if you have bacteria, if you have viruses, if you have problems with zonulin, if you have enough short chain fatty acids, all of these things you can find out from a good microbiome test. Um, I want to thank you for listening today. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Please share this with uh, friends and family if you don't mind. Um, you can uh, also check out what we do over at Lisa tarmity.com and if you want to work with me or one of my team please reach out support at lisatarmity.com thanks very much for listening guys and we'll see you again soon